Resident Evil 3 Remake is one of those games that have a great modding scene. Everyone who puts time and effort into creating, changing or porting something to this game is a legend. With that said, I think it's time to take a look at 10 more must-have mods for Resident Evil 3 Remake. All links for download will be available in the description below. Please watch the first video before watching this one so we can avoid any confusions. Honorable Mention Daybreak by EXQ Ray Resident Evil 2 and 3 both takes place during the night at Raccoon City, but did you ever wonder what it would look like if they took place during the day? Well, this mod tried to answer that question by changing the texture of the sky to one that resembles a daybreak. For those that don't know, daybreak is the same as dawn the time of the day when the sun is not completely out and still kinda dark. This mod indeed gives the game a different feel, and I kinda like it. You have to circle around through an alley to your right. Number 10. Long Hair for Jill by Rain395 Jill is perfection in this game, a beautiful, tough and lovable girl. She won my heart at first sight. With that said, the description of this mod in the Nexus is exactly what I feel about her looks. Taking into consideration that she's under a lot of stress and paranoia, I don't think she would have time to go to the salon. So the idea of this mod is to give Jill a more laid-back appearance, while keeping her hair faithful to the remake design. Number 9. Classic Star Up Screen by Boy Call James This is a definition of a must-have mod. I have no idea why the devs didn't include this screen, even though it might be unnecessary for today's standards. To me, it is mandatory. Simple as that. Number 8. Nemesis Classic Ultimate Form by Darkness Voltier Remember the last fight against Nemesis in the OG RE3? Remember how he turned into a slow, not-so-big kind of monster? This mod brings that transformation back as Nemesis' second form. If you don't mind the limitations, the 3D model have. This mod is pretty good and gives a lot of nostalgia, and I even think that I prefer this one over the remake design. Number 7. Maxi Williams 01's Mods I know I'm cheating right now, but I must show you all of these mods and this is the best way I could think of. First, let's talk about the mods that change stuff at Jules' apartments. Jules' vintage apartment posters, 90 CD covers for Jules' apartment and real September 28, 1998 TV broadcasts for Jules' apartment TV. These mods are very subtle. If you don't look for them, you might not even notice that they're there. As you can see, they change the posters in the wall, these CD covers and what's in the TV. Again, they're very subtle, but they add to the immersion and believability of this world. Now let me talk to you about real 1998 movie signs and true 90s train card ads. These two are also kinda subtle, but they also add so much to the atmosphere and immersion. Instead of generic lookalikes, the theater features real 1998 movie posters like Blade and Braid of Chucky. Yeah, just hits from 98. At a train car, real 90s ads were added and it looks pretty good. Number 6. PlayStation 4 Button Bond by Crazy Potato slash Snips. Just to make it clear, this mod was not created by Snips. They only ported it from R2R to R3R. Creation credits goes to Crazy Potato. I know that there is another mod that does the same thing as this one out there, but I prefer this one because I think it fits more with the overall art style of the game. There's not much to be said about this one, just that I like it. Number 5. No Amy Zoom by Altered Beast. This is actually a companion mod for the first person one that was featured in the previous top 10, the RE framework by Predoc. In RE3R, zombies land at you all the time, and it can be quite frustrating to fight them in first person, and this mod fixed that. It disables any kind of zoom when aiming your gun while keeping a little bit when using a knife. Sure, from a distance it can be a little harder to hit those headshots, but I feel it's worth it. Number 4. The Loose Ammo Mod by DudeMeister56 This one I don't like that much, but I feel you might. This mod changed the ammunition models to resemble loose ammo instead of a box of ammo for most ammo types in the game. I must say that the quality of the models are pretty good, however it does not change the icons, so to me it looks a little off in the inventory. You could argue that it was intentional to keep it this way, and that's fine if you like it. Number 3. The Classic Items Pack by Frank Alcantara Now let's talk about something that I really like. This mod changed the look of many items in the game, including the ammo boxes, to resemble the ones from the Classic RE3, and it even changed the icons. However, the mod of the mine rounds don't, so it looks a little weird when you pick up something that looks like this, and in inventory it looks like this. It also makes the red or be red again, instead of pink or whatever the color was supposed to be. 
Number 2. Resident Evil 3 Remake Expanded Maps by EXQ Ray. We all know that RE3R is a pretty linear game, with lots of areas locked behind a scripted event. With that said, mods like this try to change that and make the game a little more open. This mod was released to the public on August 15, 2021, and the reason why it's so high in this list is because the creator have a Patreon, and for the longest time this mod was available only to his patrons. Which is fair, I guess, but we need to give credit when the author makes the mod available for everyone to enjoy for free at some point in time instead of keeping it locked behind a paywall forever. Now, about the mod itself, what does it change? Basically, it removes many barriers that prevented the player to explore the entire city map right after you get to the subway station with Carlos. Once you get there, turn around and now you can freely explore this area before meeting Nikolai. Going right, you gain access to this house and the alley that leads to the candle gun shop. By the way, this gate is still locked. Going left, you can explore this alley that leads to the power plant. However, this mod doesn't remove this barrier, and that's why I recommend installing the mod More Investigation by NFK93 after this one. After the cutscene with Carlos and Mihail, you get to this area where you can turn left and go through this door. This will lead you to the sewers. But don't interact with this shaft, because whenever I do, it crashes my game after this loading screen and this is the only real complaint I have about this mod, really. If you continue and follow the stairs, you'll get to this door that was previously closed. It'll get you to the Stagla gas station, but I don't recommend going forward through here, because as you can see, it breaks the game a little bit, but it's your choice. After the cutscene with Nikolai, you'll get to this alley and it allows you to get to the subway station a little faster. After meeting with Nemesis army with a rocket launcher, you get to this area. Going a little further, you'll notice that this area was previously on fire. Now it's not, and you'll have one last chance to explore the downtown of the game. At this point in the game, pretty much the entire city is available to be explored one last time with few exceptions. The best thing about this is that Nemesis follows you around after you manage to evade this giant head. After starting the gameplay as Carlos, and after going through this door, you can go up these stairs. Now this gate is open for you to have a look around this area that was once locked. There you go, an amazing mod for sure and I really recommend you to check it out. But finally, we're getting to number one. Hey, you, you're finally awake. Your final awake pillow by Vega47. I mean, what did you expect? This is indeed, with no doubt whatsoever, the best mod available for RE3R, and you're more than welcome to prove me wrong in the comment section. You were trying to cross the border, right? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.